Okay, so for my chemistry homework, I was set the task of doing a poster or a song or a video or anything I wanted on the uses of ethanols in fuels. And as I can't draw or sing or write music or do pretty much anything else, I decided to make a video. So here is the result of my time. And as the topic of uses of ethanol in fuels is kind of a boring topic, no offence, I have decided that I will repeatedly put interesting pictures periodically through this video so if you get bored it will snap your attention back. I'm going to off to do some research now and I will be back, whoa, we'll be back with the results in a snap for you in like half an hour for me. Wish me luck. Okay, so from some very in-depth internet searching, I have found some stuff out. When you first think of ethanol, you might think of the stuff mainly found in alcohol, in beers and wines and spirits and brews and stuff, which is true and it is also the same thing, but ethanol is also used in biofuels, and biofuels are things that can make up gasoline and stuff, which can be used in cars. The biggest countries that use this are the USA and Brazil, which makes up 87.2? Something like that, I'll put the real number here percent of their worldwide ethanol usage in biofuels, which is kind of exciting. Ethanol can be used in fuels and biofuel is such a good thing because it's a renewable source of energy, which means you don't have to burn coal and other fossil fuel stuff which can hurt the atmosphere. And biofuel can be created from things like sugarcane, potatoes and corn, all of which are better for the environment because as they're grown the plants take in CO2 and take give out oxygen which helps reduce the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere which is definitely a good thing but there are some downsides of this because as more crops being grown to make biofuel which they use ethanol in less food is going to be made for food production which means prices of food may go up. Emily's just skyped me. Ugh. I'll edit that bit out. I probably won't. So onto the actual process of making the ethanol. Like any process ever, the whole process is not 100% effective and the yield is not 100%. In an aqueous solution of fermenting ethanol, the actual ethanol yield is about 15%, which is quite low, and it's mixed with lots of other stuff, which makes the ethanol a lot less useful to us. So that has to be purified and taken out by a range of different methods. And this is kind of expensive, but it's something we have to do and it happens. This is getting boring. Cat. <music> ethanol is used in biofuels and biofuels are used in cars. And because ethanol is less powerful than gasoline or diesel or petrol, you need more of it to get the car going. This can be a problem, but cars have been specifically developed so that now they're tailored to calibrate it better. People say that using ethanol and biofuels in your cars gets a more powerful approach and it makes the car better. But because it's got ethanol in, ethanol is, big word coming up, hygrosepic, I'll put the word here, which means it absorbs water and this can be a problem because it dilutes the fuel, which causes problems and then there was a big load of stuff about mechaniciness, which I didn't understand, so I might put a bit here. I'll put a link to a website if you really want to read that. Yeah. Although ethanol fuels might be slightly less efficient, research has shown that they are really practically particulate free. And particulates are things that cause global dimming, which is kind of like the opposite to global warming. Take Harry Potter to be global warming. Voldemort would be global dimming. If they evenly match them, nothing happens until one overtakes the other and all doom breaks loose. But even with that, there are slight disadvantages I mentioned before with the food production going down and land space being used to build this magic biofuel magicness. But it's not all bad. Here's some exciting news. Ethanol, as of 2010, has been used in small quantities in rocket fuel. Yeah, get that round your head. Rocket fuel. That was literally the most exciting thing I could find on the whole of the internet about this. Yeah. 
So thank you for watching my video on the uses of ethanol in fuels, which is an oh so amazingly epically awesomely uh, super exciting and interestingly amazing topic. And if you did like it, hope you learnt something. I did. It will probably all be forgotten in a matter of seconds. Do you know how hard it is to make this video? It's not easy. I'll put some bloopers after the end screen. Thank you. As I said before, ethanol is used in biofuels, and biofuels are used biofuels. Yeah. As I said before, ethanol is used in biofuels, and biofuels are. Yeah. This is really hard to say. As I said before, ethanol is used in biofuels, and biofuels are used in cars to fuel them and allow them to power. God, that took so long, I forgot what I was going to say. As I said before, ethanol is used in biofuels, and biofuels are... Yeah. As I said before, ethanol is used in biofuels, and biofuels are used in cars. But because... Uh,